Hi there. I'm Aki Hadid, and I came across your ministry this night, actually. I was searching for 24-7 prayer, and um, I just wanted to share with you something that God had put on my heart um, uh, recently about 24-7 prayer, but also um, about prayer in general over the last few years. Um, in November 2017, God put it on my heart to start a ministry to cover every uh, street and prayer through prayer walking. And then prior to that, he had um, put on my heart to try to cover every person by name in prayer. And then just before COVID, he put on my heart to cover every, um, every hour in prayer through virtual prayer rooms. So I'm going to share with you um, a little bit about an app that I created. Um, it's a web app, but it's also an app on the um, Apple Store and the Google Play Store for your mobile device. And I'm going to give you a brief introduction into it. And I, the reason I want to share this is because I think it's something that might interest you. And it also might be able to help you in your 24-7 prayer initiative. Um, everything is free of charge. I just want to put that up front. This is purely uh, for the sake of the kingdom of God and to mobilize the worldwide church to come together and literally cover the world in prayer. Every person, every street, every hour. Um, and, um, and to build community and unity among believers. So I just want to put that out there. And I'd love to hear more about what you're doing to see how I can make this app better and accommodate not only what you're doing, but help accommodate other prayer initiatives. So I'm going to start off with, uh, this is the home screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign up or sign in. But here's basically the vision in a, a statement, inviting every Christian in the world to come together and cover every person, every street, every hour in prayer until Jesus comes back. So what we have here is I'm going to give, we have basically four apps. One, the first app is Pray for Seven. That's the app that covers every person. Um, the Walk with God, that's the app that covers every street. The war rooms, that's what we would call them, is those are the war rooms um, that we're trying to have a war room every hour. And these are the weapons of war. So I'm gonna go through each one, one at a time, pray for seven. Um, the initiative is this, if every um, believer prays for seven unbelievers, we could in theory cover every unbeliever in prayer by name. And so we do this by praying, picking one person, at least one person every day of the week to pray for. So this is my, Tuesday person, and um, these are my Wednesday people, these are my Thursday people, and so on. Um, and you get a reminder through a mobile notification if you have the app um, to pray for them. You can also get an email mail reminder, and when you pray for them, so I'll, I'll walk you through what it means to pray. So let's say I want to go pray for Alex. It gives me a verse to pray for Alex. You go, and then when you're done, you click Amen. And then it gives you a verse to pray for the next Alex. It happens to be I have both my Alexes on the same day. And then you say amen. And then it marks them as prayed for. And you can also see the log of your prayers. Um, you can add prayer requests. You can um, set up a prayer schedule for them, whether you could pray for them multiple days of the week. You know, there's a lot of flexibility there. Um, but like, for the example, this person, Alex Chu, I prayed for him 204 times. And it tells, you know, the time, st uh, the, the day stamp of when I prayed. So that's the pray for seven. Now let's go to the prayer walking app. This has a map and um, basically the goal is to cover the whole map in red. And red means somebody claimed that area in their prayer walking that area. This area is my area right here. This one right here. Um, you can click on an area and see um, who's praying it. You can see the distance, the area. You can also um, connect with the person. Um, there's more stuff that you can, um, you can walk someone else's area. So if you wanted to create an area for, let's just say we wanted to go to, um, I don't know, um, I think you're in Arizona. Let's go to Phoenix, Arizona. I don't, I don't know if you're in Phoenix, but um, then we'll go there. And so let's say we wanted to just make this our, our focus area. That's what we call it, our area that you're gonna prayer walk. So you click this square icon, you say draw area, 
and then you start drawing. And again, this is all mobile app and web app. And so you say save. It says your focus area has been added to the map. Touch the focus area to remove, edit, or view the information. Um, so now that's on the map. People can see it. And then it, hopefully as the map starts getting filled up, people can connect together, prayer walk together, and just build community around trying to cover every square inch of the earth in prayer, every street. So there we have that. If I want to edit it, I can edit it by doing something like this. So I could go like that. I could even move it around um, and then just say, or, and then say save. And then I can also just remove it if I wanna remove it. So that's the prayer walking app. Now we're gonna go to um, the War Rooms app. That's the 24 seven prayer. So here's what we have. So each person can either join a war room or create a war room. If you create a war room, you have something like this. Um, you have a, um, a calendar that goes with it. Here's the basic information in a war room. You give it a name, you give it a, a link, a virtual address. So where the war room is actually taking place. This happens to be a Zoom room that I'm using, but you can use any anything you want. You can use uh, Google Meets, you can use WhatsApp, just put the link in there. You can put a website, to your uh, ministry so that people can see your website. And I'll show you how that works going on. You can put active dates. So if your war room, let's say you're, you're, you're trying to create a 24 seven prayer room from January 1st to um, June 1st, you can set the active dates for that. And that'll show up on the calendar. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that so you can see. Let's say we wanna make it from January 1st to um, June. June 1st, save. So now it says active from January 1st to June 1st. You can make your war room private or public. If it's public, that means other people can see your war room and they can join in that war room and, and pray. It'll be on the global calendar, which I'll show you soon. And, um, and then we'll go ahead and save. So that's that. I'm not gonna save it, but um, so here's the calendar. So right now, I meet, I have a prayer time from 6 to 6.30 every weekday. If you want to add a new one, someone could come here. If this was a public war room, someone could come here and say, I want to take um, 2 o'clock and I want to pray. Um, you can pray for 30 minutes. You can pray for an hour. I can also add more times, um, but right now that's the only two I have. You can select a recurrence. You can say, I want to only pray once or I want to pray every day at 2 a.m., or I want to pray every Saturday at 2 a.m. Um, and let's just say I do every day at 2 a.m. You can say I want a reminder, and you can say I don't I don't want a reminder, or I want a 15 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute reminder, or an hour reminder before the war before my time slot starts. Um, and then you can say okay. And so now it added this entry for every one of um, the days. So there you have it. And then you can also search for people. If let's say, you know, you want to find if a certain person praying, you can search right here and I'll, I'll minimize and tone in on the people that are there. I'm also in the process of going to make a stat. I'm going to make a stats um, page where you can see how many slots are filled, how many people are praying, how many different languages. So notice here, it, it says I, I'm, it's EN, that's for the English language um, because, uh, uh, every when you sign up, you set you can set the language that you you speak, so we can know what language you're you're doing. Um, so that's that. Here, if you have a website specified, the person, um, any visitor can click the website and see you know if you have prayer points on that website or information you want to communicate. You can also add prayers by clicking this and put prayers in this list by clicking the add sign, and then this way everybody can see the different prayer points. You can share it by clicking this. Um, it allows you to share this calendar with people using a link. And then you can send it out in an email and people, when they click that link, they'll go straight to your calendar. So that's that. And then here's the global calendar. The global calendar shows you every war room what, um, that's taking place 
any hour of the day if that is public. So if you specify that your war room is public, you'll get to see every war room that's taken place and then you can click on it and it'll take you to the calendar of that war room. And from there, you could sign up um, and, and uh, take a slot. So that's where we're at right now. And this enter war room allows you to enter the war room. Um, that'll take you right into the Zoom room if you're using Zoom or WhatsApp or Google Hangout. Um, you also have uh, at your home screen this list. These are war rooms that you either created or you specified as a favorite. And so when you go to a war room, it'll mark it as a favorite. If you want to remove it from your favorite list, you just click the heart and I'll ask you, remove war room from your favorite list. Um, and so there's where we're at right now. There's a few more features. You can search for war rooms. So if I want to find any war room, that has four in it. It gives you the search results um, or 24. So let's see if I have a search room with 24 in it there. If you want to add a war room, you just put the name of the war room. Um, I don't know. Give it any name. Um, I'm going to name a war room after my city, College Park, and say add. And there it'll click it in. It'll open up this page and you can enter the information in to add it. Um, I hope this is helpful. I would love to have a conversation with you about um, this uh, ministry and about what you're doing and see how we can maybe collaborate and I could be a blessing to you. Thank you for watching and God bless you as you continue to pray um, that every house will receive the gospel, a huge harvest, and many souls will come to know, love, and worship Jesus Christ. Amen.